This video is going to be um, on, on a subject called MK Ultra. It's going to be a, a brief review or a, a review of all the information I've correlated and learned with a mixture of my own testimony and uh, some general observations of what I've learned in my own circumstance and from the testimony of others and from researching all the available evidence to establish uh, some truth and some footing, some grounding and some understanding. Hence why uh, I'm doing this video is to share just my testimony and the observations I made for anybody uh, seeking information regarding MK Ultra, whether just to learn about it, whether to uh, help them in their own testimony to uh, establish some pieces and information to help them, and also to hold up the uh, the many many MK Ultra testimonies out there, which. Uh, I believe have been um, hijacked and uh, discredited and uh, tried to be uh, suppressed. Um, one, one observation I've made um, about the enemy, the, the evil forces against uh, truth and, uh, and mankind's freedoms is um, when you have a critical mass when you have a, a mass voice of, of outcry, that critical mass is, the voice is always usually, oh, you're, it's stronger in numbers, you're stronger in numbers. Where, where in fact the truth is that voice is a, uh, a leading voice to bring you all into a critical mass. In a military circumstance, it, uh, I won't say what the slang word is, but it's called a cluster fudge, although they use a, a bit more of a graphic uh, expletive to describe it, which which is describing a bunch of soldiers all clumped up in one mass so that it makes them a bigger target. And and that's what I, in my observations, has happened to MK Ultra. All the MK Ultra testimonies were um, gathered together, uh, perhaps under good intentions, which good intention got robbed and infiltrated and a lot of controlled opposition was used to discredit, to throw in uh, misinformation, uh, um, delusional expressions of testimonies, uh, blurring the lines and uh, sub substantiating the, uh, the evil agenda of a, an alien invasion or that aliens exist and which is untrue if you if you study these things out. It's they're actually um, demonic forces it, it, and um, military operations to make these people believe that they've seen aliens or demons or and then to give credit to the story. But it just it just it just confuses and switches off the public ear. They don't want to hear all the different alien races and the battles going on and it gives it a legitimacy and it's corrupted the actual core persecution and the violation and practice that hides behind all this um, machination to make these people believe and it supports, ultimately it supports Satan, it supports the devil, it supports the evil mass of um, of confusion and lies and divisions. So uh, that's one of the reasons I want to um, share my testimony on MK Ultra. It's just, it's something I've personally experienced firsthand, and I'm um, and I'm, I'm going to go over that in a bit more detail. Uh, but I want to cover uh, the mapping of. Uh, people's psychology, uh, hive mind, mob, um, what drives the mob of the human race, what is, uh, and how that is mapped over the century, how that's being mapped from generation. This is a generational thing. MK Ultra is a generational 
continuing, ongoing. It's ancient. This is an ancient mystery religious practice and that's what is one of the things you need to see to establish what is, what is actual fact, what is actually going on. And it's all associated to mystery religion, secret societies. This all links into military infiltration of nations, governments, the military, the military intelligence, all turning what was once good and established lawfully into taking up those seats and uh, manipulating the lawful offices that they've um, gained responsibility of and, and, and people sitting up there wearing black hats and white hats. And this, is, this all stems into Freemasonry, the mystery religious practices, the craft. These people are Luciferian. And this is, this is one of the key areas you need to research. And if you're one of those people that's switched off by religion, you're never going to see the truth. If, you're a, if, you, if you don't want to believe in uh, this intelligent design, comes from intelligent designer, this, this video is not for you. You're not going to see the truth unless you believe and look for the truth. Um, personally, I found the truth while I wasn't looking for it. I found the Lord Jesus Christ while I was, look, I was lost and I was looking in the wrong direction getting more and more lost and if it wasn't for the Lord and, and believing in him I would have never seen any of this stuff I would have been completely locked down and if it wasn't for other people's courageous testimonies I would have never really been able to grasp that helped me grasp my own circumstances so that's why I want to share my testimony if you can't see the religious aspect, you, you will never see it. If you can't see what these people believe in, where this practice stems from. Now, the Lord called it Mystery Babylon, and I'm going to show you why, really. And this is all to do with Freemasonry. And Freemasonry, for, if you'd like to research this for yourself, comes from these people. This is the Society of Jesus. This is the Jesuit priesthood. These are the people that um, were the authors of Freemasonry. Now, there might have been a genuine Freemasonry at one time, but it's been infiltrated. But if you do your history, it was established by the Jesuits. And that's been verified and, and uh, you can research. So that's one of the areas you need to understand. You need to see that this um, mystery Babylon Right, here we go. This is um, a Masonic chart. I got these from uh, um, Loyalty Free, so I've only got a few pictures. Um, there's Solomon's Temple. Now, if you don't know the history of King Solomon, now, King Solomon was fell from grace. And basically, what all this mystery religion is, is chucking out Jesus and the Word of God robbing all the goodies and practicing it in secret so these people know the truth and I'm, I, I will show you simply by lawful witnesses how these wicked people know the truth and they, and they, and they to corrupt the truth on purpose to hide to, to keep the public in ignorance this ties all into MK Ultra. MK Ultra is a a program and I'll show you that there's an inner circle that's been learning about it, testing it on their own people. Then they test on subjects on the outer circle. And then on the outer circle of those test subjects, it's rolled out on the general public. And all this is in full swing today. This all ties into the mystery schools and mystery religions and joining them up. Down there we've got the York Rite, and here we've got the Scottish Rite. It's all the same thing and it all ties into the temple at the even the cup even every um every nation you think of the uh, the imams or the the mullahs or whatever they're called the the ones in islam you know they've they got their own freemason bra freemasonic branch 
you've got the Catholics, they've got their own Freemasonic clubs. You've got the Protestants, they've been all yoked and infiltrated and invited into these, compromised into these systems. So you've got the Protestant Freemasonry, but there's no such thing as a biblical Freemasonry. It's forbidden. God hates this. God is going to stamp on this. This is the most wicked cancer. And this is the this is the root religion and practice of all this um, MK Ultra. This is what the Nazis were into. This is and, and and the Catholic Church were the authors of that. They fomented Hitler. They were they they created the circumstances and controlled that man into you know profiling. And this is down to profiling generationally. And it's so advanced today, so established. It's never going to be that. It's never going to be put right. It's dominant. This is the the little tail that wags the big dog, and because and it plays on its power. It's the ignorance of mankind, the ignorance of the general public. They won't accept this, and they think, oh, you know, it's harmless. Uh, they celebrated their, an anniversary recently, Freemasonry, at this massive festival, you know, to give it legitimacy. And it's propped up, 80% of Freemasonry is propped up by naive, gullible, vain men who like to be part of something secret, tickle their fancy, and to get them to do charity work. But these people never have elevated up into the wickedness that goes on in the top, all the vice all to getting together, making political decisions, making decisions on every single walk of avenue of life, having all their little players all in the right pieces. This is the synagogue of Satan. And this is um, dominant in the world. All the, all the major powers are Freemasons. You know, it's, in, it's been testified to be up in the higher echelons of the police. The police force is not operating lawfully. You think of what um, if you if you like to read the um, the oath of a constable. Now a constable, every policeman is a constable. Chief constable is a constable first, and a constable is an officer of the law, the common law, and he can arrest. He can't be told who he can arrest and who he can't. He's free to act within his jurisdiction as a, a lawful officer of the law, a constable. There's no hierarchy in the police, in the, in the true police, in the lawful police. It's, it, it's on level ground. And a con there's, no, there's no constable above another one. The chief constable is an overseer. He's got more responsibility. But it's been corrupted by this, you know, you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. Let me read you a uh, scripture. Uh, from um, the Old Testament because this practice is nothing new under the sun and this comes from King Solomon and I'll get back to King Solomon um, I just thought of this scripture Micah right there this is like a peak of iniquity this is like coming up to the point where God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah now this is a point in the Old Testament where the peak, the ripeness of wickedness reached its peak, and it's going. To, and the Lord is at, at the point of judging it, and this is where we are today. So, if you're not a believer, if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, I invite you to seek Him and repent, and and to believe in Him, to be drawn to His love and mercy and tenderness, His salvation and forgiveness, what He done on the cross to be sin for all mankind, all mankind's sins, yours, mine and everybody, everybody that was, everybody that is and everybody that will be. He has suffered everybody's sins on the cross, being holy and innocent. And he put off his, he put, he gave his life off and, and rose from the grave and appeared to many witnesses, faithful witnesses. And you can receive that faithful witness yourself like I have like many but many people have and you believe and you will receive a faithful witness that he's true but you need to seek repentance you need to be 
give up. If you want to be part of this world and all this transgender, all this dominant homosexuality, this abortion, have abortion, make all evil good and right and get the pub, because this is not only... These people are not only trying to win hearts and minds, they're trying to win your... This is about your soul. This is about your internal salvation. So if you're not a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, what are you a believer in? I invite you to examine the evidence, to study this stuff, because this is ripe in practice. And this is about your mind, your knowledge, because people, in their ignorance, get compromised and yoked, because it's human, human nature. These people know all the knowledge, all the knowledge through ancient times correlated and it's generation, generationally shared and they hide it behind their back and they kill the people when there's a critical mass against it they corrupt it and quieten it, quieten it by their machinations and their wickedness and that's right throughout history that's apparent throughout history that anybody wants to study and it's after your soul and it's to get you to compromise and go along. And, the, and this is the voice. This is the, the people that map, the geneticists, the eugenicists, who's, who've, the founders of this eu, eu, eugenics, you know, euthanasia projects. They're deciding, oh, that there's too, mu too much population. We need to cull it. You know, these people are without affection. These are got, they've had their consciences seared by a hot iron and they're practicing in this darkness and it's unlawful but it's been given the green light it's been made to be good and acceptable it's a lie and it's tied in with Mormonism it's tied in with Roman Catholicism it's tied in with all the religious systems all the religions all have their Freemasonic branches or their secret society and that's all controlled by the top, behind the curtain, but in secret. And it's ambiguous. It doesn't see itself as evil. It's all yoked by nature. And these people map nature and they, and they manipulate it. And I'll cover that a bit later on. But I'm going to read this scripture. Micah chapter 7. Woe is me, for I am as when they have gathered the summer fruits as the grape, the grape gleanings of the vintage. There is no cluster to eat, my soul desired the first ripe fruit. The good man is perished out of the earth, and there is none upright among men. They all lie in wait for blood. They hunt every man his brother with a net. That they may do evil with both hands earnestly. The prince asketh, and the judge asketh for a reward, and the great man, he uttereth his mischief desire, so they wrap it up. What that means is it's all stitched up. All judges, all lawyers, all lawful officers, there's a price. And they're all connected secretly. But on the public face, you see all these independent bodies, but in secret, they've got their little establishment, and it's all stitched up. And this, ha this has been going on generationally throughout history. And the Lord deals with it. And we're coming to a point that it's going to be the final judgment. We're in the end times. We're approaching the judgment, the great tribulation, Jacob's trouble. And if you're a believe, if you're a safe believer, if you know Jesus Christ, you're going to be delivered from that. You're already If you believe, you're already delivered from that. And you're not going to mix with that. You, you don't go through that. You can't go through that because you're in Christ. Or you would be in Christ. You'd be on the ark. Like Noah's on the ark. Who, had, who wasn't corrupted. Who warned all the, all the wicked around him what God was going to do. Because it's a pattern. History repeats itself. The scriptures say there's nothing new under the sun. The best of them is, a, is, a bri is as a briar. The most upright is sharper than a thorn, a thorn hedge. The day of thy watchman and thy visitation cometh. 
now shall be their perplexity. Trust ye not in a friend, put ye not confidence in a guide. Keep the doors of thy mouth from her that life in thy bosom. For the son dishonoureth the father, and the daughter riseth up against the mother, the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies are the men of his own house. Therefore I will look unto the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. So the fruit is this, is that these people, they use lies, they use murder, they use fear and they compromise people and they get people in their noose and anyone on the outside of that they can approach and use they they can approach because they psychologically map people they profile people now if you go on to YouTube you can find all the evidence of this because it's done through the science bodies and the people behind all these bodies can correlate all this information and use it for good and they can use it for evil and the good people use it in good intentions and then an evil person will take over and it's used it's shared so this same information is correlated and what should be kept secure is sold to f and shared amongst third parties in secret because it's all private bodies, it's all funded, they're all in bed together, it's all stitched up, it's all sewn up. And it's dominant. And it compromises people with fear and vice. Then it gets the world to be um, on the side of vice. And this is a, a form of MK Ultra in, in action on the, on the general ignorance, on society. And we've all been grown up under this net, under this evil influence. And it uh, dominates, it dominates the media. These conglomerates are all private media. These people are sodomites. And they practice all this mystery pagan religion. And it's gone throughout history. Um, on, and getting back to what I was saying, if you go on to uh, YouTube and look at the rat experiment, now, they, this is a, sci a scientific experiment on a rat because they're mapping the natural behaviour. Now, um, they got this, they, they wired this. Now, they train rats and, and, and laboratory animals to press a button to get a reward. And, and that reward, it, it will be a drink or it's food. It will open a drop a little bit of food when it presses the button. So they train the rat to associate the button with getting a, a reward of food, right? That's the psychological technique they use on mobile phones and modern advertising. Because all this modern technology is like Hansel and Gretel sweets into the woods. And it's like to draw you to the witch's lair into their plan because they, they got a plan they got an ongoing plan and you need to know what that plan is that plan is world domination temporal and spiritual to have all religions they're, they're there they've got all religions they haven't got Christianity they haven't got the believers in Christ that's the only people they're not going to conquer and these are, the, these are the people that speak out and expose this evil because that's right and they will silence people, they will target people, they will discredit people through their machinations and craft, through their counsellors, through their doctors, through all their little plants in society. And if you think, oh, that's a conspiracy, that is a conspiracy fact. That's not a conspiracy, tr conspiracy theory, that's an established conspiracy truth, fact, long established throughout history it's been documented it's been testified by those in it and those out of it those converted from the inside out who've, who've come over and believed in and been saved by the Lord and believed in him and received and appropriated his atonement and they've been saved given the Holy Ghost to see and testify and point out this wickedness 
and this goes on in all echelons of our society and it stems from the fall of Solomon now Solomon's heart like his father the heart of King David now it goes it, now this all goes back to um, Genesis uh, the inheritance of sin now if you go to Genesis and think of it as a seed uh, a man and a woman are the seed of, of the humankind now you might believe in evolution but science lawfully and these know science these people know that Genesis is correct they don't want you to know that they will teach you Darwinism this is how they work they play both hands they play the good hand it's like Punch and Judy you think of Nickelodeon theatre uh, the Nickelodeon theatres were um, something that happened, uh, I think it was in the 20s, and it was uh, a nickels, five cents. And they done all uh, these, I think it was Jewish people, started up these like five cent theatres, you know. And you think of Hollywood today, right? It's a theatre, the Punch and Judy. The, this was done in ancient Egypt, the theatre shows, the shadow puppets to hypnotise and the shadow, the shadow masters, the puppeteers remain hidden. They couldn't, and all the prisoners, all the people in bondage couldn't see the puppeteers because they were in another compartment, separate, but they could see the shadows that were cast and they would cast demons and, and hypnotise children when they're, you know, and create this illusion putting in their mystery practices within the play, within the stage, within what you open your life to, like on television, all the subliminal Freemasonic craft that is pumped through advertising, through media, through the news, through uh, opening ceremonies, in sports, in Olymp the Olympics, the Olympians, all this pagan religion, and it's all all nonsense, it doesn't agree with each other, but it's all united in, in tolerating it all. And it's got its sexual rituals, its blood rituals, and it's predominantly Sodomite. This is Sodom and Gomorrah again. And Sodom and Sodomy is not just homosexuality, it's all sorts of perversions and pagan, pagan practice. The scriptures say it, First Kings. And Solomon, the Masons uh, worship Solomon and the Babylonian priesthoods. That's why it's why the Lord called it the Babylonian mystery religion, mystery Babylon, because it roots from Babylon. And David, uh, King David, um, because of Genesis, right? Let me start in Genesis. So, the Lord said. Um, the uh, seed give off their own, produce their own kind. Right, that's established lawful scientific evidence. Uh, inheritance of blood it goes from the, from the father. You inherit the father's blood, and uh, you produce the man and woman. It's not um, like. Like one guy, I heard one guy say on a video, I've put the link in, I'll put the link in the description of this video. He says it's not, it wasn't Adam and Eve. It wasn't Adam and Steve, it was Adam and Eve. So we know from nature, and uh, there's a division in nature, and these map nature, these have always correlated to man's nature. And, and I finished the tale off about that rat. So they, um, wired this rat's brain to an electrode, trained it to press the button to get a reward and then they stopped giving it food and then through the electrodes they gave the rat an orgasm. So every time it pressed the button it, got, it, it was given an orgasm. And this rat killed itself because it got addicted to pressing the button. And this is how they mapped and farmed human nature. They correlate mob nature. Um, if you look at birds, I'm going to put a link in this through Boston Dynamics. Now, I'm not saying that Boston Dynamics are a secret society, or I don't know anything about 
Boston Dynamics, but there's an interesting technological advancement which clearly shows the mapping of nature and putting that into intelligent technology. And it's a dog, um, it's a robotic dog that can, uh, it walks like a real animal because they've mapped nature and they've mapped human behaviour and animal behaviour. Now, if you look up a shoal of fishes, you know, it's a lot like man's nature. You know, when you, t when you speak out against the predominance, it all turns around and bites you because it's all a predominant agreement in that nature. We've all got that nature and it's divided that nature. And these people map nature and know nature and how to exploit the mob. They've mapped the mob. <coughs> and this all goes back to the truth in Genesis that seed produces its own kind. So an oak tree will only produce oak trees. An apple won't pollinate um, an orange tree. So all things are from their own kind. Like a man and a woman won't produce a pig or a dog or a goat. It produces a child. And that's nature, that's how God created nature. That's what he wrote in Genesis, but it's pooed, it's not belief. Therefore they come up with, what, well, what do you want to believe then? They come up with Darwinism. Now if you do your research, at the time of Darwinism, before Darwin, there was a, a monk who was a believer in Genesis, a believer in Jesus Christ, a believer in the Creator, in the Word of God, and he put those principles into breeding plants. So he knew the principles that God had provided. Mankind can only create from what's been provided by God. He can't create a, a dog out of thin air. He's got to use the DNA of an existing dog to replicate a dog. He can't create from nothing. God created by speaking things into existence, by his power, by his word. And he's left his word. And it's scientifically been proven that it's correct, that Genesis is true. Darwinism come out with evolution, which supports this wickedness. It supports the survival of the spheres, the psychopaths, the narcissists, the men without feeling who believe that they're, they're born because they're the cream of nature. Now they're the most base wicked people in nature and they rise to the top, top of the dunghill, the, the heap at the peak of wickedness, the king of the castle. Well, Christ done away with all that and he, he offered us freedom into his father's kingdom, a holy kingdom, just and right, how he intended it from the beginning, because of sin, which is inherited through nature, which is passed from the father to the son. Like King David, he had sin. The Lord didn't want to have uh, Israel to have kings. He wanted God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ wanted all the seed of Israel to know him personally. But they wanted a king, they wanted a prophet, they wanted this, that and the other, they wanted to play shops. And God knew this, so he gave them kings. And then he taught them through the kings. He gave them King David after his own heart. And David sinned because he, he inherited sin. Because sin's genetic. And you inherit it from your father and your mother. And you're a product of sin. And you're a product of nature. These people know nature. They throw Jesus out, they throw the truth out. They hide that for themselves and they corrupt it and they keep all the goodies and all the high seats for themselves they elevate up those who are compromised and they control all the others that are compromised so they've got one down one side thinking that they're good people and they, they listen to all the good and they teach it to all the evil down the other side so they can play both sides of the fence like Punch and Judy you don't see the puppet master you just see the puppets you see the theatre on the telly. You see what they want you to see. These people have infiltrated education, religion, 
the media, Hollywood, they own all the record stuff, they dominate all the money, all the private enterprise. And it's through this craft, through, through this Freemason, secret societies and the like, the Illuminati, and these people aren't powerful. Their power is in their deception, their lies and their secrecy, and their willingness to do evil and keep it a secret, because that's their power, silence. And do, getting away with this in, a, in a, a, a public that can't possibly comprehend that it's going on. Because it's so evil, and good people, people with a lot of good in them, predominantly good, who would rather not sin, but are sinners nevertheless, can't believe that they're living amongst this. This is amongst them. And uh, that's what needs to be stu uh, seen and understood, especially in the case of MK Ultra. And this all ties into MK Ultra. So at the time of um, right back from the beginning, they knew that uh, Darwinism was made up because evolution is a lie. That uh, you know that the universe evolved from this and that and the other, the Big Bang, and uh, life evolved and developed. Well, a monkey has always been a monkey. A lion's always been a lion. A dog's always been a dog. Cat's always been a cat. And there's no evidence on the earth. They can't bring you the evidence to show a half in between species developing. You either find a fossil or remains of a, a donkey, or remains of a horse, or the remains of a, an extinct creature that was on the earth, that is no longer on the earth. And they say, oh, this is this is that, and this is this, all to cover up the truth, or that they know that scientifically, if you want to be a scientist, you can measure the principles of nature, what's provided from the creator, from Genesis, but if you don't believe that, you're going to believe a lie. And I'm going to read you another scripture, and to frame it, God's heart and mind. And it's in Second Thessalonians. Now, this is if you're an unbeliever, uh, you know you take heed to these words. If you're um, interested in this subject, listen to these words, because you will. If, you, if you're sincere and honest and open and you like to, um, even if you're critical, fine, be critical, but uh, be honest and, and hear these scriptures out. I'm going to read Romans 1 and I'm going to read 2 Thessalonians. I'll start with Romans 1. Now this is the, the Lord speaking through one of his chosen vessels, Paul. Uh, the uh, apostle and it's God's heart, mind and will towards mankind but th this is Paul speaking to the church speaking to the Roman saints um, Romans 1 uh, start verse 18 right, for the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness, right? I've just told you this. They know the truth, they hold the truth, but they hold it in unrighteousness. They deny it because they, they hold unrighteousness over the truth and they keep the truth from you. They put a hedge up around it and they put they hide it behind their back and make and profiteer from it, and make merchandise out of people's lives from it. These are people players. These like to play, play with your life. This is generational. And victims of MK Ultra are generational. So it goes hand in hand. And you can see that in the testimonies. I've seen that in my own testimony. This is the infiltration of getting into all the avenues of our lives. And they target certain generations usually dissidents or people they they don't want they don't want and they they experiment on them 
they do ritual practice their ritual craft on them their secret mystery craft which is usually sexual trauma traumatic because it's trauma based mind control and this is what's been rolled out on the world trauma based reinforcement of your indifference of your inability to act that's why we got so much diversity so much confusion so much bombardment of all these different ideas and it's all deliberate it's all all from satan all through these devices these people that practice satan they're serving satan some of them knowingly worship satan and serve it some are so stupid that they don't know what they're involved in and then that whole yoke is lifted up and that affects the whole world that pulls up the carrot that raises the price of the milk and everyone's got to raise their prices to get on with the world you know they set the price you look up uh, you look up the Tavistock Institute how that was the the founders who got the uh, got their fingers woven into the fabric generationally from the beginning to get all people into their one basket so they you know like the Roman census then they can start infiltrating and they get the good arm up one side they get the evil arm down the other side behind its back with his fingers crossed correlating all that information on the public body and this has all been researched and I'll leave some links in the description box of this video that you can search people who've researched this people who've been involved in this people who've been on the inside and brought the truth to the outside people on the outside who've tasted this and I'm one of those people but I'm um, I'm not in, in the, on the inner circle, I'm on the, a test, on the outer test circle, unaware that this practice is going on. There's people on the inside that are knowingly know what's going on and involved with the people and the orchestrators of it and the authors of it, under the authors of it, doing the bidding of their master, Satan, you know. Um, and this is um, rife. I'm going to continue reading. Um, For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness, because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. For God hath showed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world, of the world are clearly seen being understood by the things that are made. All creation understands the creator because it can see the evidence of creation. An intelligent design needs an intelligent designer. Even his eternal power and Godhead so that they are without excuse. The whole world is without excuse. The whole world is going to be brought to account at the judgment seat of Jesus Christ. And if your sins aren't covered and forgiven, and you've been redeemed and um, justified by the Lord Jesus Christ, holy, precious blood. If you're not saved, you're gonna you're gonna have to you're gonna be brought brought to his brought to his presence, and you're not gonna be able to hide. There's not gonna be without excuse, and you're gonna have to work out for every thought, action, and deed. That's a terrifying thought. All all that dirty sin you've done in secret it's going to be brought and God hates it God has dealt with it on the cross he suffered it and he put the shame of it away in hell eternally and he escaped hell because he's life he's a creator and they are without excuse because they because that, when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations. And their foolish heart was darkened, professing themselves to be wise, they became fools, and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made with, made like to corruptible man, and to birds, and four-footed beasts, and creeping things. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanliness through the lusts of their own hearts, to dishonour of their own bodies between themselves. Uh, and that's referring to 
the, the strange flesh corrupting your nature, man on man, woman on woman, bestiality, paedophilia, transgenderism, all this corrupt of, corruption of nature. Because they turn their back on God, therefore, what else is there for them to become this perverse, corrupt wickedness? And this is the authors of this. And it raises up the public body to be the same. Plays off one against the other, holds the carrot up. You know, you're a loser. You're, if you want to be a winner, if you want to be successful, you've got to go through the steps like we have. Look at us, the masters, the Darwinists. You know, Darwinist supports mass murder, warmongering. All these, all these political players are just modern day warmongers. You know, the, the world's problems have been sorted out. You know, they, it's about time. We could, in, in truth, deal with it. But because evil is dominant, it's not going to allow it. And that, and that takes place because of people's willful ignorance. They don't believe in Christ. Therefore, they won't see the truth. They see just a fraction of it and they wonder at it. They're being different closed down, unable to function. If you want to escape, if you want to... Don't be intimidated by all this. If you're learning about this, this is really simple stuff. You just need to look and help yourself. God helps those who help themselves. You, if you fear God and seek his help, seek his heart, seek his salvation, he'll lift you up, he'll show you this. He'll comfort you. I don't want to be a fear monger. I just want to set people free like I've been set free by the grace of God and by the love of, of God in others sharing their testimony. And he will set you free if you want to understand this and escape this and, and learn about it and see it for what it is for yourself and establish the truth that's already been long established and testified throughout history. Because they dominate and write history, they bury it, they chop up education, they've infiltrated education, they break up the generations, and they teach them their new, the, new, the new age stuff, and they want to get Christianity, the truth about Christ, buried. Because the truth will set people free, and it will expose all their evil lies. That's why Christianity's been hijacked, by these religious crooks, these robbers, and then they then they corrupt it, give it a bad name, so people, the public, won't believe in Christ. Oh, religion's a load of nonsense. These are just change costumes as quick as anything. You know, they shed their skin and become hide in their bunkers until it all blows over. They won't care. I'm not. I'm not for any of these people being persecuted because Christ died to say these, these people aren't beyond saving and uh, the Lord will save those in it those without of it Christ died to save all men so I'm not about persecuting Roman Catholics I'm not about persecuting Mormons or I'm not about persecuting Masons I'm just sharing the truth and a testimony and a conviction against this wickedness this is wrong so I'll speak out against uh, the, the Catholic Church and their design and I'll speak out against the, the Church of England and Freemasonry, it's wrong homosexuality, it's wrong abortion, it's wrong it's the interruption of life there is no break in life to say, oh, when, it, when is this and when is that? When does it feel anything? Well, it's a continuation of life. It's a continuation of creation. It, it, it shouldn't be interrupted. And promiscuity isn't an excuse for abortion. Rape's not an excuse for abortion because it would be a better outcome for that child to be adopted by a, a genuine, loving, upright, moral family, you know, a whole family, a man and a woman, a wife and a husband who are God-fearing, who would raise that child for that person surrogately and even include the, the person who couldn't cope with it or doesn't want it. it. It leaves the door open for them. You know, there's always a good, right, right way to solve things. 
but promoting what's wrong is never going to be right. And these people promote all that is wrong because they're wrong and they want to dominate and they want all to be wrong. They want all to be lawbreakers so they can break the law and destroy it, get rid of lawful, get rid of Christ, get rid of the just laws. That's where they come from. And that's where Solomon fell from. Solomon, King Solomon knew God. He had uh, all the blessings from the wisdom from God because his heart was for, in line with God's heart. And God said, right, Solomon, I'm going to bless you. But then Solomon got corrupted by the b pagan world, which God didn't want them to mix with. He didn't want the seed of Israel mixing with these paganists, these blood writ liabists, these sodomites, these homosexual sexuals, these perverted perversions of nature. And that's, that's what all the killing was in the Old Testament, getting rid of these practices because they were under judgment and the Lord used this righteous Israel to get them out of the land, to clean house, get these disgusting, that was King David's heart in Zion, in the city of Jerusalem. God wanted it swept and he wanted his own house swept first before they could sweep So uh, being a Jew doesn't give you right to be the lawgiver because the law convicts, convicts all people of sin, even the Jews. And the, even the Jews are corrupted into this mystery cabalism. You know, look at Madonna, look at Hollywood. You know, uh, Jews are not, not beyond reproach. Neither are any of the nations beyond reproach. They're all under condemnation. The whole world's under condemnation for iniquity and sin. And I'm not anti-Semitic. I'm for, I'm for the citizens of Israel. It's their land. And they're entitled to it lawfully. And, uh, and I, I don't condone any, any unlawfulness or wickedness or secret practice or perversion in any country. because I've um, received a just law and that's through Jesus Christ for his mercy, forgiveness. But God is just, he's not gonna tolerate sin. He's dealt with it on the cross. And this is, and this is where we're at, it's coming to the peak. <coughs> I'm gonna continue reading. Wherefore God also gave them up, up to uncleanliness through the lusts of their own hearts to dishonour their own bodies between themselves who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshipped and served the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever amen for this cause God gave them up unto vile affections for even their women did change the nature the, the natural use in, into that which is against nature and likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burned in the last one one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves a recompense of their error, which was me. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who know in the judgment of God that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. They rejoice and get a kick out of their evil. And they're quite happy to get other people on board, i.e. the world. And this ties into all the MK Ultra stuff. MK Ultra is a vehicle, an instrument to brainwash people. You can research Tavistock Institute, the machinations, the think tanks, the media, who the, com, the media conglomerates. Look at all the major media, media moguls and all the private enterprises and hands. It's all one yoke of evil and it's about, this is, this is human nature. The scripture says that say, Satan has control of all men and the only way to get free and escape and come out and be separate, because that's what, 
that's what a believer is he's been called out of the world he's been like you're all rowing in your boat and the Lord said you your time's out come in and that person rows to the shore gets out of their paddle boat and they're out of the race they're out of this yoke because the strong man Jesus Christ has overcome the Satan the devil who's a principality of this world he's the prince of this world lowercase p and he rules these men's hearts these men's openly worship him you look at the OTO now you might think that uh, Alistair Crowley established the OTO that was uh, nurtured by the Jesuit priesthood for the Roman Catholic Church he was one of their stooges he was one of their agents and the OTO was to bring all the secret societies into one hub that's what the OTO is it's the avenue into all these branches and to raise them up all under this same all these rights all these rights and levels come from this the fall of Solomon he fell from grace and practiced this secret he had many wives many concubines whores prostitutes and he fell away and he got into this mystery secret religion and he revealed all his light and shared it with the Babylonians and they perfected this craft and this is why Masons worship Solomon you know, and they think they're religious and they're righteous they're the most wicked base people without natural affection these people are dead in their conscience like they've had their, their, their brains pushed against their hot iron they just can't see they're doing anything wrong and they rejoice in it they're drunk in it they're established in it and they want to corrupt the whole world into this and if you if you're not again if you're not aware of it in your ignorance you're still guilty because you're not against it you're a part of it it uses ignorance it's held up on the weight the backs of ignorance and it's the people who found this haven't started on the bottom and gone through all these levels they started at the top, lowered the blinds down, expect everyone else to go up it, up it, but they don't. They just give, they just write their own tickets out, and they take all the chief seats at the top and raise up patsies at either side. Either side of this is showing the different rights, but they have either side of nature. They play on both sides. You see, they wear the white hat and the black hat. They, they're two-faced. So if you're if you're like the head of the like MI5, and you're in a secret secret um, you know bloodline, and you're practicing this craft, then you get into you get into a seat like a head, the chief head of a seat, and on one side you got your your good branch of operatives, and on the other you got your secret side that the other side doesn't see. And, and this side says, oh, we, we think, sir, we've dif we discovered some evil. And then here, here you go, all right, you better deal with it then, you know. You have full authority, let's get this done, let's get this cleaned up. Then he whisper down and tell him that these are, they're onto him. And then they, they cover it up. So he can play down both sides of the fence and one can't see the other side. This has played out on the public, Twin Peaks. So you've got, in the public body, you've got... Um, one person that's been by the by the power the machination of this mk ultra this machination of mind control which has influ infiltrated every avenue of your upbringing in your environment and it can preconditions conditions the human body because it's map nature and it raises up a temper and then on the other side of the fence it raises up uh, an opponent and and either side can't see what goes on in the middle because they're they're raised up to be some are favored on one side and favored on the other and that leaves a big gulf in the middle and that's where they stamp on people they don't want and then the general public are being given the privilege they don't see they go they, they go through a service and they see one side because they've been conditioned 
because they're because they're generationally being mapped so they've been raised to be one in one jelly mold and the other side of society they've been working on to raise the, the opposition and then all the people in who want to follow truth what are not, or, you know in the public it's a control mechanism and that's how they can treat people evilly under the ignorance of this raised public body this raised cultivated culture like they throw homophobia out there and that of course a division and everyone who believes that the public are homophobic nobody wants to be called homophobic it's a dirty label so they tow the line to it but they're not the authors of homophobia you know if you speak to public people people who are family orientated don't like you know would don't like it see homosexuality as against nature it's wrong they don't agree with it but the dominant says oh you're a homophobe you know you're discriminant against homophobics well homosexuals are discriminant against family values but they won't get a voice the voice is anti-homophobic islamophobic oh you're an anti-semite your anti-immigration, you know, it's all the same authors, the Catholic Church through Freemasonry. It's the same voice leading the leading the the charge of the human race, trying to steer it, lead it into the new world order. The one world government through their secret secret peeping at the craft. And you see it all throughout the telly. And um let me read you another scripture, Second Thessalonians. And then I'll get on to uh, a bit more of my testimony in MK Ultra on a more personal level. Second Thessalonians chapter two. I'm gonna read one to eleven. I got the right verse. Yes, right. This is where we are in this current generation. Uh, this scripture is a prophecy from the Lord, telling telling the warning the world what he was gonna do in this times, in these times. This hasn't happened yet, but it's it's unfolding towards this event, which I'm going to read. Now we beseech you, brethren, this is Paul speaking to believers in Christ in Thessalonia. Thessalonia, the Thessalonians. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled neither by spirit nor by word nor by letter as from us as that the day of Christ is at hand this is speaking back then in the in the early church let no man deceive you by any means for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition that's the antichrist who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, of that is worship, so that he, he is God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And now ye know what withholdeth, that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity, which is what I've showed you, the mystery Babylon, the mystery of wickedness, establishing the chief seats for yourself the mystery of iniquity that have already worked only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way so the lord's got his he's allowing wickedness because of agency and for the the day of um the probation or phase of his mercy and grace and that's people to repent escape judgment receive jesus christ and be saved for the, until he be taken out of the way so once the Lord the Holy Ghost has taken the buffer and that's the Bible believing Christian church because they're the only people that are going to speak out against this properly and understand it fully and see it for what it is reveal it 
Once those people are gone, those people in charge will know that those people are gone and they know that the break's off and they know that their time is at hand and they're established, they've set this up and they will roll it out to the, the public that are going to be judged because they've rejected Jesus Christ. And then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy the brightness of his coming. So at the end, the Lord's going to come back and he's going to rescue his people, Israel, and all the people who've, who in that period have realised and repented that hadn't had the opportunity to do that at this time. Those people who reject Christ now will go into judgement. But those who haven't, don't know God in that time, who haven't had the opportunity, will be saved if they don't take the mark of the beast. And this all ties into MK Ultra, the mark of the beast. This ties into the, the propagation and the, the bringing out the, the, the cannabis and the, and the breeding of it, and getting it um, in the right, get it in the public eye, get it, get it socially acceptable, like homosexuality, because under this influence, it can the, the high concentration of CIT, THC will open people's minds because they, they've been mapping the science of what this does to the brain and it's like an oil for the, the, uh, their programs to wash what they take, their MK Ultra programs it gives it more lubrication and a foothold when somebody's intoxicated on THC it makes them susceptible to their influence and their and these people get um, gratified on it. And all, all the natural stuff's been bred out of it. And they've been doing that for years. And they will, that would be one of the instruments of this MK Ultra and this um, Mark of the Beast system. Even him who's coming is after the work of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceive, deceive, deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the truth, love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Right, so what God is saying is all the people that turn their back on him, like in Romans 1, and like if they turn their back on the truth, the only thing that they can believe is a lie, right? This lies in action. This strong delusion hasn't happened, right? Question is, now I'm only speculating here, but God has made it clear that he will pour out strong delusion because people will turn their back on the obvious truth and there's no excuse because they can know Jesus Christ simply by believing in him, calling upon his name. And he's faithful to promise them he won't deny himself. And they can know that. There's no excuse not to know that. There's no excuse not to question salvation, question Genesis, question inherited sin, question all the evil that's been practised because of man's fallen nature. Man's prone, man and woman's pr proneness to sin and fall short. Hold their breath in goodness and then fall down and then keep it quiet and lie and compromise and cut corners and kill to get your own way. And then when you've done it once, you've got to carry on going, you've got to carry on living the lie. Therefore you compromise more people, you get more people up in your up in your side and then you expose the people you don't want you use people this is MK Ultra. what's this lie going to be that God's going to pour out it's going to be the mark of the beast system and it's going to be the effecting of this MK Ultra because it's going to be MK Ultra is going to be rolled out on a mass scale and it's all um, I've left the link in the Boston Dynamics about this robot I was on about earlier and they've mapped human the human genome now what I was saying about Darwinism that when the person all the people who know about this is how they know the truth 
but they hide the truth from they don't want you to know it and that's why their power is in holding back on the truth they knew they had the paper that proved that genetic inheritance how to breed plants how to you know this was by a, a monk because of his love of the Bible and creation and learning from Genesis, he put it into practice and he taught the known world how to breed plants. And these people have known it for generations and they've known it from this one man because he released a paper. And at the same time, they kicked his paper into the long grass, kept it for themselves, destroyed this person's life and they put forward their Darwin the evolution, the origin of species, the dominance of mankind, dog-eat-dog -dog philosophy, which they knew was a lie from the beginning. And there's no proof of it, it's a religion, it's a false science. And science convicts it. If you want to be a scientist, you go and look at the evidence for both sides and you'll see the crankiness of evolution, that, that mankind evolved from plankton. No, mankind evolved from Adam and Eve. God created Adam, Adam, put him on the earth, took his rib out, genet genetically replicated it, and from man came woman, Eve, Adam and Eve, the seed. Not Adam and Steve, <laughs> not two homosexuals, not Eve and Alice. It was Adam and Eve, man, husband and wife. The perfect family model, husband, wife, produce husbands and wives, sons and daughters, uncles and un aunties, grandmas and grandfathers. Not grandfathers and grandfathers, grandmothers and grandmothers, grandfathers and grandmothers, mothers and fathers, aunties and uncles, brothers and sisters, children. Right, it's no good homosexuals adopting children. Because it's against God, it's against nature, it's wrong. Now they might be capable adults holding down responsibility, but emotionally they're dead. And they can't see what effect they're going to have on a the child. They see, they'll be blinded by their own self-righteousness, and they are. So they raise this child ignoring its needs, justifying it, oh I'm a good parent, well, I'm a loving, we're a loving couple. That might be the case, but it's corrupt and it's against God and it's wrong. And those children are, are, are going to grow up corrupted. And DNA is it. All these, these practices, homosexuality is genetically passed on. Because people turn away from God, your natural evolution, you know, natural evolution through its own seed, its own kind, gets corrupted. And DNA, if you look at any DNA evidence, um, there was a case in the UK of a, f a family that bled easily, uh, bruised easily and it's a genetically inherited disease but the social services accused this uh, and brittle bones apparently and this child had a broken bone and, and, and bruises and of course it, the, the, you know rightly they they intervened but they took the children away then later on, the parents proved that it was genetic and they got a scientist and they laid all their family up and all the markers that inherited the, the disease held up an umbrella colour and all the people that didn't inherit it, um, all the generations of that family that didn't inherit it, they held up another coloured umbrella. So when both of the umbrellas up, you saw where the disease genetically was inherited, it was passed on. And genes are dormant. And you can have active genes, you can have dominant genes and less active genes, you know, um, sleeping genes. And they can be triggered and activated. And all genetic, everyone's genes has a record of the sins of your family line, of that bloodline. And it's genetically passed on to, you know, father to son, mother to daughter, through the parents, through the blood. And Darwinism is... Uh, completely against that theory because it's a lie and it's a deliberate lie to justify war 
to justify this and and to practice on the ignorance of the world. So if you if you want evidence, you you search those uh, those areas. Um, I'm just going to pause. I need a break, and I'm going to come back. Right, excuse me a minute. I had to uh, wet my whistle. Uh, had a dry throat. Anyway, MK Ultra. Let's get to the topic at hand. Um, let's get rid of those. Right. Now, let me just quickly go over so I can catch the thread again. Uh, so, if you are a, an investigator into MK Ultra or looking to sharpen your own under, further understanding and further edification, because this is what all this knowledge has helped me, it's sharpened my focus, it's helped, helped me see with a lot more clarity and contrast in the tree. So, one of the key things, if you're a student of this, you, you, that will help you is to remember these phrases. Um, the people that orchestrate MK Ultra, and if you look at all the branches, it was practiced in the, you know, in the the German, the Nazi side. If you look, if you haven't heard of Operation Paperclip, that's an area you'd need to research. How all those um, people practicing this in in, in in the, in the Third Reich, all that week, all the Nazis, they were employed secretly by the, um, the Americans and the British. They're all play. it's all the same puppeteer, and these are all players on pawns on the stage. And MK Ultra was practiced in those avenues. And what you need to understand, that it's associated to Freemasonry, mystery religion, whether that's the Illuminati. If you're wondering if it's this person, is it that? Is it the Jews? Is it the Masons? Is it? It's a kind of all a conglomerate, a yoke, an ambiguous yoke, partly by design, partly by the power and working of deception and evil, compromise and influence. And M if you want to understand MK Ultra, you need to understand the roots of this practice. It's generational, it's through the mystery Babylon. It was practiced in the time of King Solomon. It's been practiced by the Egyptians, the Assyrians, the Romans. All this pagan, it goes hand in hand with sodomy, paedophilia, idol worship. Now look at today our modern idols our media. It's all about idols, pop idols, celebrity idols, fame, wealth, intellectual idols, powerful idols. This is Freemasonry in essence. It elevates one uh, above another and they believe that they're gods, living gods. They're deceived. They're liars, they're compromised, and they're compromised everyone that's yoked to it. And if you're ignorant of it, you're yoked to it without realising it, because it's about the mapping of nature, the exploitation of man's nature. And they understand this, so that's one, you need to understand that, that they practice this mystery religion. It's generationally practised and tested on people, and it's generationally passed on and learnt and it continues and it grows and that's what it's grown into MK Ultra. MK Ultra is going towards world domination, world brainwashing. It's in action now. It's a, a, a test model of learning, correlating, further practice, out rolling and they do it by technology, do it by your addictions but to get a reward from pressing the button. They get you addicted to vice. All vice comes from Freemasonry, they want to, they dominate the world of vice. And on the other hand, they play the, the puppet, the Punch and Judy, they play the good guy in the war on terror, the war on drugs, and on the other hand, they run it. 
and they get te they get sales. Um, uh, I knew this um, in, when I was about 17. Now I met someone on the different side of the fence of life. They were a punk, an anarchist, and into all that, and they're into drugs, and into and I fell in. I got into that world and induced into that world by, you know, by basically by grief, by despair, and getting, you know, picking up these sweet trails, getting, you know, into these drugs, and what, and it's true. One thing leads to another. And I was susceptible to these things, you know. And I took my fill of it, and I met I met people in the same same vein. But I, you know, opened my eyes. I'm grateful for the experience. I don't condone the use of it, but you know, thank God that it was. I'm not saying it's uh, good to do evil to, to, you know, to do evil to bring about good. I'm not saying that, but uh, the Lord can turn bad experiences round for good. And he did that with my life. And I met some interesting people and saw on the other side how things work. And this particular person was a, um, in, in the, you know, had links into the drug rings and uh, one area. And also that they were approached to be sponsored anarchists. So any peaceful movement, any peaceful protest, they would appear amongst it as a hired mob and start fighting the police. And, they, and there was groups raised up and sponsored to do that. So that's one of the, the practices uh, practiced. And... Uh, I learned through this person also is is he if you remember the uh, if you grew up around if you're my generation I was born in the seventies and if you grew up through the nineties and the rave scene and the, all, all that I was I actually on the ground I did I I give it a wide berth I could see what I could see what was going on and. This person I knew met the people who introduced the MDMA and that was a pure ecstasy and they were producing it. These were agents. Now I believe from the MO they were American agents, they were American and they were selling drugs to one of my, my associate's friends, one of their friends they grew up with. And they were looking for sales to get to sell the drugs and supply the drugs. These were American agents who uh, produced the ecstasy in in Holland, brought it over. And, and if you look at the drug scene, it all, all comes through military bases. If you look at who's that guy, uh, who's uh, an idol, I can't remember his name. There's a film on him about part he he was sponsored by somebody from Whitehall to be a drug cell you know somebody in parliament how you know in the house of lords using this this agent to be a drug supplier you know you like you think of the opium wars you you do the research and the history of the people behind that and that, that will join up the dots. And this person was introduced to the, this couple, these two Americans, and they were selling the purest um, drug on the market. It, it was pure. And they raise up sales to sell it on their behalf, and it raises up a scene. And the scene was the rave scene, and they were the orchestrators of it. They invented it. And there they were already with all their equipment. And these people are like, they own, you know, they basically own the ground. They own the tent and they lease that tent out. And they got all the seating and all the people that, the ring the ringmaster. You know, they're the people who, who own the land and hide behind it and lease it all. And orchestrate all the action from behind the scenes, like like the '60s movement, like the rock and roll movement, like the reggae movement. You know, it's all seeds that are planted that the people on the ground pick up and follow, and then it, and then all those behind it, because it's popular, like the yo-yo. Everyone wants to go on one. 
you know, and that's how they um, bring people into advancing technology because they get them addicted by this because they map the human genome. And I saw these these uh, this uh, ecstasy unfold, and then I knew the the effect it would have on people. So I, you know, I chose to avoid it, steer clear of it. And I didn't come part of that scene. I saw it as all fermented and sponsored and merchandising. And I saw into that world. So one of the things you need to uh, understand is, A, it's Gen MK Ultra back to MK Ultra, And that's kind of involved with it. Um, as you will find out in other, if you research other people's MK Ultras, they, they've experienced a similar thing, being approached by these people who want them to be a cell and, and network through that person, that compromised person. And so MK Ultra, you got you, you need to do the research, and I'll put some links in the description box. A, the Jesuits, they are the authors of Freemasonry. This has been proven and established. If you if you look at all these conspiracy theorists, they always leave out the Jesuits, and and then without that piece of the puzzle, you're not gonna. And if you don't understand the uh, the counter Protestant Reformation, that puts the Bible in everyone's hand, a lawful book. So they're free; they can free themselves from the yokes of corruption, and receive salvation and be free, free from lies, because they'd be lawful people. They won't need. They won't need to be governed. They won't need. They won't. The law won't come into action because they won't be lawbreakers. It's the lawbreakers who who write all the unjust laws and break them. And then they compromise other people to break them, so they got a hold on those people. And if people don't know the law, they can't set themselves free from it. And if they don't know the enemy, our nation's enemy, and all nations' enemies is the Catholic Church. You only have to read read their own writing. You only have to read the Jesuit oath, and they deny the oath because they're liars and they're devils, and they want to. They've caused this indifference in human society because they create these divisions, these oppositions, these false dialects, and it, and it covers up the truth down the middle, and it raises up the public body because the public body rejects the truth. They know that the public body is going to reject the truth. And they want to kill the people that hold the truth and silence the truth. And anyone that speaks for the truth, they want to silence and they use a public mob to do that because they condition the mob to be like that because of the mob follows their leaders. And the leaders are the ones who write history and rewrite history, infiltrate all, all, all avenues. And you need to understand it. It's the um, MK Ultra is all linked to the military intelligence, the CIA, the MI5, all, all, all these um, dark branches of that practice. And I'm not saying all agents are bad, but it's all compromised, it's got two faces. It's black and white, because that's human nature, and it maps human nature. So it's generational. You need to understand the, the association between the, the core of this evil is the people behind the Roman Catholic Church is the dominant evil on this world. And that's been clearly revealed by the Lord. Mystery Babylon, the practice, you need to understand the practice, the religious practice and beliefs of these people and how they've raised up all this new ageism, anything goesism, and all these isms and schisms because they're all against the truth, they all deny Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ, the only one who stands for right and freedom and law and just, you know, we have law, we have rules, rules aren't to uh, suppress people, they're to convict the guilty who don't toe the line, who are unruly and unlawful and wicked and they will do evil. So the law is to protect the righteous, the good, innocent people, innocent, vulnerable people and the, and the evil is blind, it's selfish, and it raises up the world in its own image, and it uses it because it's mapped human nature. As I go back to the rat, I go back to the, look at that robot dog from the link, Boston Dynamics. Look at all the correlation, this information. You go back in history, 
and you'll find all these eugenicists working on breeding programs because they know the truth, they know the genesis theory, they know how to breed, they know how they, they know how genetics work because it's all been revealed to them. <coughs> They've stolen all that information and they hold it from the public. And then they put up their lies to deceive the public and keep them away from the truth. They deny the author of the truth. And the people who give them the truth, they kill. They don't want they don't want them sharing the truth. They want to keep the truth to themselves. So they know they know the um, breeding programs. They breed horses. They breed amongst themselves. Royal bloodlines breed, and they've learned all this from Genesis, from the truth. But they deny God. And they keep the truth back. They don't tell you. They teach you rubbish. They teach in 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 education. They don't teach you longer how to um, establish the truth for yourself and think for yourself. It's a preconditioned what you're to think and what you're to believe, and you're not allowed to question it. It is fact. What you're taught in school is fact. So it's it's part of the brainwashing. It's part of the MK Ultra. And um, my personal testimony is I've experienced being a test subject to that MK Ultra, and that MK Ultra is tested on uh, subjects, and then it's rolled out because this information is correlated. It's mapped. Um, if you if you look at uh, testimonies of ex Roman Jesuits or pr wives of people in in the dark branches amongst the Catholics. I'm not saying all Catholic, I'm not saying all Je Jesuits are evil and, and, and know what, they're, what they serve and what they're part of. But there is a core evil within the Catholic Church that dominates it and is behind it. And it's got all these deceived people believing in Mary worship and idol worship and all this heresy and it gives it power, it gives it a dominance and it's a dominant voice of Christianity and through this craft it's yoked to religions through through Freemasonry, through, through the Jesuit machination and infiltrating all these religions and getting them into Freemasonry, it's taken a long time and this evil's been working incrementally throughout generations and test subjects are generational and you can see that in um, all people's testimonies they like mixing they like orchestrating the mixing of bloodlines and if you look at the european union it's about moving one cattle into another cattle's pen and that one cattle will dominate the other cattle and, and weaken it because they know that they know the rules. They know that they know the truth about nature. They know that um, their own kind come from their own kind. British people give birth to British children. African people give birth to African children. French people give birth to French children. And they come from French families and British families and African families and Chinese families and Romanian families, or whatever family they come from. We've all got that in common. But they want to muck that up. They want to disrupt that, and they want to merge all families into one big happy family. We're not one all big happy family. We're half evil. We're all evil and good. So you can't mix people. That's why we're segregated. We're not segregated because we're, we're racist. We're segregated because we're different. And we can, you can uh, free trade with the world and love the world. You don't have to mix with it and get in bed with it and start breeding with it and then destroying the family core values and saying, oh, it's all right to be homosexual. Because it's all come... All the people that own vice, all the vice... All the legalised gambling, legalised pornography, all the people who are invested in this are Catholics and Jesuits. And all the people that are under that in those societies that, that you know they they allowed the jews to dominate like that and then it gives the jews the bad name then they allow all all these other um 
establishments and they all toe the line. And it's create it's creates this unjust society and if, and if you want to be part of it, you've got to be like them. And if you don't want to be part of it, you're going to be walked all over or you're going to be isolated and uh, segregated. But who wants to be part of it? You know, no thanks. It's disgusting. It's evil. You know, and I saw that in my own nature. And these people map nature. And that's what I've been part of, mapping. And I've learned through traumatised dis disassociation. And if you look at uh, Joseph Smith, another Freemason, <coughs> and funnily, Joseph Smith, it takes all this time for a, a, an any any Tom, Dick and Harry off the street, going to Freemasonry, go through all the levels up to a 33rd degree. He, he, he went through super quick. So did Brigham Young. You know, it just shows who you know and who you bought, what bloodline you're born into, who you're associated with. Because these people are a knit and they, they scratch each other's backs, got their fingers in each other's pies. And uh, I, I was um, part of that, and I, I know I've been on the end of that, and it all ties into masonry as well, uh, Mormonism, and religion, Islam. You know, it's all got its Freemasonic infiltration in its branches, and it permeates throughout the world. And I've been a test subject, and I didn't really wake up to it. because I was so traumatised. I had my trauma arrested and it was uh, covered over. And I'm, start, I'm still piecing it together. I haven't got the full answer. But it led me to establish the truth of the practice actually happening. Then I could f f establish that, well, it is going on. It's a reality. And then, then I had to find out, well, where, is it, where has it affected me? Where is it and where isn't it? And... Uh, my MK Ultra is generational and it's been happening generationally and I can see that through my own family history I can't go into that present all the evidence is too long winded and it's a very hard thing to do um, it, it opens it all up that's one of the hardest areas I find to give testimony on is the MK Ultra because I'm so unclear on certain areas of it and so sure in other areas. But it's the wounding it causes. Have it, it's like, you know, it's a violation and it's abuse. You know, you've, it's, like, it's like rape. You, you've got no control over it and you don't condone it and you haven't given permission for it. So it's humiliating and it's wounding. And it's done by people who like get a kick out of it, which makes it even more disgusting. And then it's ignored by ignorance and you're made to be the tin for hat wearer. But I don't care what people think, I'm, I'm just sharing my uh, testimony and uh, experience on it. And mine happened in all through the 90s. That's when it was predominantly active. When I, I didn't realise at the time, but I had a net of people around me. Street theatre, I was just too, too blind and stupid. I just ignored it. Well, I didn't, that's a bit funny, you know. It was all there and I didn't, I didn't see it. I was just blind. I was disassociated and locked down in my own little world. <coughs> and going back to Joseph Smith, there's a book written on Joseph Smith by the American Psychiatry uh, Association. Now, I don't condone psychiatry. I'm not saying there's no truth in psychiatry, but they've done an evaluation of traumatised children. Now, uh, if you know the history of Joseph Smith, he was traumatised as a child. They operated on him. They sawed out a growth out of his bones without any anaesthetic. And he was at a certain age, it fractured his uh, personality, it traumatised him. That creates in a victim of disassociation, they compartmentalise the uh, trauma. 
but one of the things it, it affects you, if it affects you as a really young child, now he wasn't an, such an infant, but he was young, he was a child, he was, would be classed as a child, and uh, it creates within you a disassociation and a vein, of, and ch the scripture says a childhood's like a vanity, you know, children are really vain, they're innocent and pure, and they've got creative, wonderful, vain imaginations. They're, they can put their imaginations to wonderful flights of fancy and, and creativity and innocence. And, and Joseph Smith had that ability. It's very clear that it, in this, you know, I saw it in my own life, you become, in your own little world, it's an escapism, because you... You're trying to cope with a trauma and you can't cope in the real world. You don't want to... The real world's ugly. You know, you can see it for what it is. You can't... Once you've experienced something like that, you know that, you know, like it's a lie. It's uh, denied. The world is denies its own evil. It hides it behind its back and shows its good face. And this... Um, American psychiatry, the guy, the guy psychiatrist who wrote an, a paper on Joseph Smith's life and traumatised disassociation, done a very good job, quite an honest job, and he and he showed how that trauma created that, uh, a man with such an imagination, and then uh, if you look at his family bloodline, he was in in the sort of people that practice uh, magic witchcraft or peeping and gold digging and divide, divining and you know uh, f following the stars all that all that occult cultism like they they reveal in Harry Potter like they try and indoctrinate the youth into this mystery religion and written all through that is a uh, is mystery religion is freemasonry freemasonry is just a a net of all the all the uh, mystery religions and practices which covens they're, they're all answerable under a, they're all they're all give their allegiance to the head of that and that head of that dominance of that's the Roman Catholic Church that's something you need to understand about MK Ultra and I was experiencing it it was like a net around me and I didn't see it I didn't know I was traumatised you see I didn't know I was disassociated and I didn't know that 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 trauma was deliberate, you know, cultivated to be denied. In doing family research, I saw the military involvement in my family. Then I saw the the kind of similarities in other MK Ultra test testimonies. There's bloodlines, you know. I've got Irish. And my mum, mother, and father. Their blood don't really mix. You know, it's like chalk and cheese. <laughs> Uh, I've got this Irish, you know, and plus disassociation that can send you two ways. That can send, like, collapse at the sound of a, a bang. You know, your legs can give way. People who've traumatised will... People who've been abused in cells will, every time they hear a cell door open, um, they will collapse. It will re-trigger the trauma. Um, and I, I, I didn't know that I was traumatised, but things would trigger that trauma and I, my legs would give way and I couldn't think, figure out why. And it was triggering a, tr a hidden trauma, you know, bringing to my attention, you know, what that's, you know, I'm not that, f I'm not, I'm not that scared, I'm not that fearful, why have I fallen to pieces? Because uh, um, that's trauma, trauma-based disassociation. My my um, development was arrested at the two-year-old. My life was shattered, and that was hidden and denied by my own family. And my my mother is a classic uh, monarch victim. You know, I don't know what my mum was involved with, uh, but she she had premonitions of people dying, and she she you know I wonder what what my mum would been involved with. My dad's completely disassociated, and a product of the. Uh, civil service, you know, all of his life. He's just like, he can't function without without them. You know, he's completely moulded and raised up in that image. Because, and, uh, you know, he's a good man, but he's, he, he's completely disassociated. He can't really grasp life. He can't share his... He's, he's locked down in, in himself.
and that's through trauma-based disassociation. I can see in my dad, he's disassociated. My whole my whole family's been handled and managed covertly. My brother was sacrificed in a public hospital. I know all the evidence. I witnessed it happening, the cover-up of it. One guy tried to told us, but they caught him. We never saw that man again. I learned about my brother's demise and a, a guy who died next to him with the same injury, a broken leg. And it's an personally, I believe it's an orchestrated accident and his work were involved with it. And I can see all the uh, ritualistic symbolism. The age of my brother, 21. You know, they like to sacrifice people at that age. You know, it was like two thieves on the cross. These are, these are sick, religious, twisted individuals and they, they were a military hospital and that military branch is now in my local public hospital and they were meddling in my mum's care, making sure my mum weren't getting the care she needed, trying to keep her in hospital by law, covering up their neglect, their deliberate neglect and I was the only one who could see it and stood up against it. I had to fight these people. But I had the Lord and he done it. he dealt with it and got my mum out of there mercifully before she died. Cause they wanted to kill her. Cause that otherwise the truth would have come out of their neglect. It was deliberate. And all throughout the hospital I could see the uh you know, getting the winks and the sniggers by all the people that were in the know. In my face, you know, jeering me, saying to me, What do you want? More continuity? Things like that, avoiding me, avoiding my questions, pushing me away from any, getting involved with any care. And I was the legal, my mum's legal guardian. My dad was incapable. He's completely disassociated. He's shut down. He can't function. He can't function without a boss being told what to do. He's completely executively challenged. Uh, you know, so I had to um, step in a fight while he, he's, you know, he was like as, as much use as a, a chocolate teapot. While I went in and fought these wicked people in the hospital, and it was only the Jesus Christ, only the power of God and prayer from other people on my behalf and my prayers that God would have interceded and got my mother out of that place and revealed all the wickedness convicted them and they let her go then they tried to cover her up in the aftercare try to mop her up quickly you know trying to get their uh, uh, Mary Curie nurses in and they did after I was so exhausted and they give uh, I caught her giving my mother uh, a le an illegal injection that was inappropriated it was misappropriated I knew what that injection was for. I, I, I was given the briefing by the the person in charge of my mother's care, and that was to kickstart her brain in emergencies. If she had, had a seizure, a, see, a brain seizure. My mum didn't have a brain seizure, because I was speaking to her one minute, went upstairs, come back down, she'd given her this injection. Deliberately left a vial in my face. You know, that, that this is how they infiltrate these um, public bodies in the name of charity. And they put their evil people in there and they can control them and they can manage. They had all the um, palliative neck, uh, nurses team breaking the law because they were law lawfully bound to change my mother, had a, needed a dressing changed legally twice a day. Uh, once every day, they were doing it every other day and writing down that they are doing it once a day. Writing down false records about my mum's oxygen levels. And I called out emergency ambulance and a doctor, a paramedic. They wrote a full report which was contrary to what these nurses were writing. And she and this nurse witnessed it, gave me a legal statement. That legal statement was stolen from my home by this palliative nurse team. I heard the doctor on the phone refused my mum any antibiotics because she had an infection. They denied she had an infection because they wanted her to be goo goo and hallucinate so they could section her, take her into Phyllis Tuckwell, into a charitable run, controlled, uh, 
palliative uh, care home where they kill people off with drugs with a nice, uh, soft, cuddly people with a wicked right, steel, sharp, evil right hand or left hand and it's held up by a load of stupid nice lovey dovey people who can't see the evil amongst them and I witnessed all that and these people are all involved and they're Luciferian, they're witches, they're generational and it's all been around my family like a net and I was somehow selected for so many different programs and I haven't figured out what I think those programs changed. I was just a multiple test subject, voice to skull, you know, setting me up with, you know, interfering in all avenues of my life covertly, trying to destroy me. And then having handlers, those handlers come via the Mormon church and these people associate through the Mormon church, as well as other avenues of uh, secret societies and anything in the, into, into the, that's in the occult, in that same vein, that could be Jehovah's Witnesses, that could be witch covens, that could be anything. They they got their fingers in all avenues. They're all... One mass of evil is all like a puddle, you know, like mercury. It all gathers together in a puddle. And um, that's where I first tasted it or realised it was really going on. And then I got put on more serious stuff, more... I, ha I don't know what my program is, but they tried to activate me to do something, but it didn't work, it didn't take. And then they be that's when the covert become over, because I think they gave up, they, they realised that all that effort had come to nothing. And then they packed up and disappeared. So I, I, I kind of didn't know where I was after that. And that was the peak of that, it was a massive theatre scene to trigger me into doing, to, to activate me, compromise me and lead me, but I refused. I consciously refused. And I'd also shaken off all their previous efforts to take hold. And this is what I learned about MK Ultra, that it has to take by, it can't over, it can't rob free agency. This is why it's done covertly and, and unbeknown to people, but then it has a hold over people. If people wake up to it, it breaks it, it breaks its power and that person can um, outgrow it or combat it. But if they're not unaware of it, it has full power and sway over a person's ignorance. And this is how these people are targeted to drive their cars through windows, how the, how the military can get bus drivers to suddenly crash on Christmas Eve or some satanic holiday as a, you know, as a display of their evil power to hit an occult building or something or one of the occult shops they own. Uh, if you look at all the um, Starbucks and uh, Costa, they're all satanic symbol, all this mystery religion. You know, the whole world is endemic and it's woven into the fabric. Um, MK Ultra is part of the machination of the the beast system, the outpouring of the the delusion, because people rejected the truth in Jesus Christ. Now I want to show you um, just the areas that I I want to highlight of other testimonies that if you want to research, because there's so much misinformation, so much controlled opposition. And like I said, sadly, all the, all the recent, you know, there's a big, I missed it, and I, I'm quite, it's quite, quite wise, I'm quite glad that I did, because I was looking for a platform to uh, share my testimony about MK Ultra, and then I observed what was going on and saw that, oh, I could see where it's a critical mass, that critical mass is all being brought into one, dominance and it's going to be ruined, it's going to be spoiled and it got mixed with all this other rubbish and all this other propaganda and this controlled opposition by their agents and they they, they put up the gatepost and all the sheep went through it because they're vulnerable and all the voices, oh the critical mass, we all got to come in together, strength in numbers, strength in numbers, strength in numbers means cluster fudge and you all get hit 
and I've tried to warn the people about this being a recurring pattern for all the targeted individuals because it's the same voice. Oh, you need to be all stand together. You all need to act. You all need to do this. You all need, you know, the voice in to, to form this critical mass. And I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not against that. I'm just saying that is, uh, it, it makes it the target bigger and easier to hit, and dis and corrupt. You are better off in smaller bodies. You know, and this is what's happened in church, the critical mass, the dominance of it. So if you're a researcher of MK Ultra, right, MK Ultra is on a ultra scale, right? Say let's put in the centre the core the core evil. Now this is generational historic historical. So if you want to research that, the history of it. And this ties into the mystery of religion, pagan worship, sex rituals, sodomy, and ritual traumatic abuse to disassociate the victim to practice on. Now I'm one of those victims. I'm one of those generational sheeple, you know, that somebody's deemed an appropriate target. So you've got this evil core right now. We have testimonies of people converting from this area. The, these are the designers of it. And then they test it on their own family members. Not all the family members, but it's a generational thing. So people growing up in those families get selected to be sex slaves, to be a test model, either by just they're done it's done to them because the people who who've practice it have been sodomized themselves and it's a generational practice you know like it's uh, inherited and they practice it on themselves and they're and they're they're all sodomites and it's all associated to the mystery pagan religions sodomy look at hollywood it's all mystery religion idol worship and sodomy, homosexuality, corrupting of nature, destroying the family unit and getting the world on board, winning their hearts and minds so that it, the predominant of this world is evil, it's wrong, it's against mankind, it's against God, it's against children, it's against innocence, it's against law, it's against freedom, it's against truth. And this, so you'll get testimonies of those on the inner family that have come out and witnessed now, I'm in the test batch area, I'm outside of that leap. So what's tested on in-house is then tested on other subjects, the general public, or their own servicemen and women, or old people, young people, vulnerable, profiled people, because they profile their targets, because they're generationally mapping the human race. And you've got one, one uses that knowledge for good, and one uses that knowledge for evil and neither are right and wrong good is corrupted good is in the wrong hands it's not founded on the truth which is Jesus Christ it's denied Jesus Christ so it plays good and bad in its hands that's how the devil works he works through good, right and wrong and he uses right to be blind to what's wrong so you've got testimonies on the fringe and then you've got the the main public body, where it's run out, well, main scale through all the mediums, through all the systems and avenues. So MK Ultra is a core correlated process of development, testing and development, to roll out to the great delusion of getting the world under its control. So it's already fermenting it, already already ploughing the ground for it it's already in operation and when the evil people take up temporal power world power like it's written in Revelation the ten provinces the ten rulers of the, those, those powers principalities will give their power over to one man the Antichrist who will rule the whole world in temporal power and they will have hold of all spiritual power all religious power all beliefs they will be the head all laws they will be the head of it and what are they going to do they're going to throw out the King James Bible 
because it's against them and they're going to throw out all the people that stand against it and they're, they're going to kill those people and this is why you're going to you're going to have to take a mark you're going to have to take a, a gen something that changes your dna to accept the transmission of the beast system the 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 pro the, it's all quantum computers now if you look at generational uh, eugenesis they're into breeding and you know creating uh, vaccinations full of metals and uh, toxins to dumb down the generations and cultivate apathy and indifference and the, the, you know ra playing raising up these different uh, bodies in uh, in society so they can control and ma manipulate and if you look at first second and third class that was introduced by freemasons to divide society so they can you know play middle class of oh i'm better than you and i look up to you and look down on you sort of thing and then you got you know it creates uh favoritism and it content martialises society uh, you know and it denies the truth and rights of people their freedoms their common ground of being a human and the soul uh, there's not one soul above another soul that we're equal so it's trying to rob the truth so if you want to research mk ultra you got um you can see the evidence so i'll leave the links you look at the boston dog you look at all the advances in technology and how technology is always militarized it's always tested in secret by military intelligence and they invest in scientists then that the, the, they got an interest in all these areas of knowledge and they car they pilfer this knowledge left right and center and they use it in their evil core of all evil to make merchandise of people to hold the dominance of the world and control the rest of the world and yoke it to itself that's already taken place that's taken place in religion and the authors of this are the catholic church read the catholic bulls and what they believe what the Catholic Pope holds to. He believes he's God on earth and there's nothing that he says. What he says is, is law. But he's not in power because the world hasn't accepted him as their, their temporal head and neither will it because it can see it for what it is. So it has to use deception and lies and that's why, why he was brought into power. So the Hitler does all the dirty work and the Pope, the powers behind safe curtains in his bunker and the and the, the uh, third reich was all jesuit inspired the illuminati was jesuit inspired freemasonry is all jesuit inspired and this is all to do with the protestant reformation that kicked them out of power kicked them out of the dominance this is what a bonfire night was to commemorate remember remember the 5th of november why? Because the butt of uh, the Pope was kicked and his, his arms were broke. But now he's full back, he, he, he's, gained, he's clawed back and he's done it through Freemasonry, infiltrating all these dumb idiots who, who subscribe to this religion that they're, they're drunk on it, they're addicted to it and they all scratch each other's backs and they all raise up other people in the same like. And anyone who don't agree with their agenda, they trample on. This is why you can't speak out against homophobia. That's why they want to legalise paedophilia, because they're sodomites. And this is what you need to learn and establish, otherwise you won't see it. You'll be deceived. You'll get half a bit of truth and half truths. You need to see the full picture. And Jesus Christ has revealed that. And if you want to learn... The Holy Ghost will teach you all truth, but to, to receive the Holy Ghost, you need the light of God. And the Lord would give you the light of God through the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit is a witness of the Father and the Son, and all creation and all truth, all things that are right and good. The Holy Ghost will testify. He will lead all those people into truth that have the Holy Ghost, even if they make mistakes. Even if they step to the left, it bring them into line. If they step too far to the right, it bring them into line. He teaches gently and patiently. The Lord is merciful and outstretched and long-suffering. 
He wants people to know. He wants people to help themselves. He wants people to learn. But you've got to help yourself. And you've got to investigate. In the links I've left, all the, the associations and connect, connections to this, what I'm witnessing. This is just my report. This is just my experience. It's up to an individual to check out the information that's provided. Because these people are sharing the links I've put they're sharing information that they've established themselves some of them will show the evidence where to get it and some of them will convey their evidence what they've correlated themselves but what you need to do is establish the evidence they've established as well you need to research so I've left a few key areas where it'll open up if you're um, honest and you're prepared to go and keep looking and keep searching and keep studying where it leads you. I've left some key areas which are key to the understanding of MK Ultra, the one world, the, you know, the new world order. It's all very simply marked out and this is why the Jesuits are denied by most of these conspiracy books. You think of David Icke, he's a sponsored um, controlled opposition like Alex Jones. All the all the good stuff is being corrupted. You think of like Wikipedia when it first started out with a good idea. And all this information was written by caring, passionate people. And then you get all this misinformation and propagandists and apologetics writing in there, you know, misinformation to try and confuse the truth. It gets corrupted. Just like the truth gets corrupted. And this is what um, David, David Icke's using all the truth that people revealed, denied the, giving the credit to the person he's got all the information of because he's sponsored, he's controlled help, he's making money out of the people, he gets to fly around the world unpersecuted, he speaks to these demonic forces and follows their direction. He's a controlled MK Ultra puppet. And he raises up a false, a false division, and then you got the, the Alex Jones on the other hand playing the uh, passionate, you know, trying to rally people to the cause, to the fight, get them militarized. Because that's what the Catholic Church is trying to do: militarize people, you know, to raise up against this wickedness that they they got a hand in. So they, they raise up the wickedness and then the other hand they sponsor up people to go and fight it because they want to mop up the spoils, you see? Because they're the cultivators. They're the, they're the people who plant the tares and the seeds and the wheat one day is going to be plucked and all the good men are, and good women are going to be taken off the earth and the world's going to be wandering at it. And this antichrist system is going to creep up like a thief in the night. And all the good's going to be gone. All the, all the escape, all the help. Because most of the help is done by Christians. I'm not saying that people don't reveal truth that aren't Christians. But most Christians will give you the key information. But the world denies that and makes money out of all these books, all these different books. And they hide the, the real orchestrators behind their back. The Sodomite Jesuit paedophile, paganist, mystery religion, clergy, and all that like. And that's what you need to know about MK Ultra. So they're the areas, and it's if you study the, the robot dog and the uh, look at nature, look how science is, um, you, you, it's all learnt from the Genesis stuff, all the truth that's already been revealed through creation, creation all the scientific evidence. It all points to the Creator, and they and these people know this, and that's what the shame is. They know that um, that Christians speak the truth, but they don't want. That's why they've dominated Christianity to shut Christ, Christians down, to make them a minority. And their last bastion that they're trying to conquer is a born again Christian, but they can't, because God, because he, because. Um, we only hear the voice of the shepherd. We only follow Jesus Christ. We don't follow these liars. And look, the Holy Spirit shows us and reveals all these devices 
and we feel compelled and compassionate because we've received that compassion and we want to edify and share that and we want to warn people and help people recover themselves out of this this stronghold because this is a stronghold and the strong man is Satan and Satan's biggest lie is he don't exist and these, these are luminists, these masons, their biggest lie is that they don't exist and they don't practice these lies because they want to get the whole world into this lie so they can dominate and rule the world and that's what God's going to allow because of unbelief because the world's turned their back on him and the Lord said you must be born again you must be born of the spirit otherwise because he, the Christ is the only one who's got victory over the strong man, the devil and all this evil and he exposed it he conquered it, he conquered, conquered all principalities by his life, being God, being the creator, revealing the truth through his life, through putting his life down, giving his life up and taking it up again, peering out of the grave, out of hell, witnessing hell, resurrecting himself by his power, by God's power, because he's life, he's a life giver, he's the author, finisher, he's a creator, he's a living word. Jesus Christ came in the flesh, died for the sins of mankind, rose again, revealed himself as a faithful witness, left us a faithful record, and that's what the Catholic Church is against. And the MK Ultra is their tool to dominate the world, to get them all yoked to a one world, get you get your brain wired into this um, orchestrated. It'll be a computer, super computer generated think machine. Like, um, what was that program in the 80s? Uh, Maximum Headroom. That'll be what the beast image will be like. It'll be um, a, a DNA maps, living artificial intelligence. It'll be satanic spiritual entity given given a virtual existence through machinery and technology and the whole world will be wired into that by the, the chip the mark of the beast it'll be a bio genetic manipulation that will override your conscious executive reasoning and decision because you've rejected God you're openly condemning yourself to accepting a mark to be part of this yoke to this computer mainframe which is a spiritual mainframe. Intelligence is spiritual. Programs are spiritual in de from the fruit of intelligence and they come with a motive. This motive is evil, it's antichrist. So the programs they're writing and all the, the laws and all the rules and all the way they want to lead the world is antichrist. And if you deny Christ, you're going to be yoked to it and you will accept the mark because you'll be too frightened to die to take the guillotine. There will only be a few people that will be willing to take the guillotine and have no part of it. And they're the people God will save out of that outpouring of his judgment for this, the wickedness of the world willfully rejecting the Saviour and the Lord and the God, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, sending his son, Jesus Christ, to die, to deliver people from that time. And those who take the mark will be openly rejecting Jesus Christ and God and that will prove they will know, the world will know that God exists and they will take that mark in spite and once they take that mark or they're compromised and fearfully take that mark and they will take it because when it knocks on your door and you've just woken up in the morning the guillotine's rolled out and it says are you going to take the mark and be part of the one world system we're rolling it out today are you in or you're out right what are you going to what, what are you going to say if you don't know the lord you're going to go yeah i don't want to die you're going to take the mark you'll take the mark and then you'll be condemned for hell forever there'll be no taking the mark out it'll totally change your genetic makeup because it's mapping genetics you give your DNA they record it they've mapped it then they can put that on a computer and they can regenerate your life they can give they can clone you these are intelligent evil these scientists know the truth and manipulate it and keep you in ignorance so that's the evidence it's mapping the human genetic 
nature and all this truth being revealed through Genesis because the world don't believe Genesis it believes in Darwinism mystery religion it's going to miss the truth which they know and that's the tragedy and that's why I want to, this is why I cry out to people you know don't don't cut off your nose to spite your face Jesus Christ lives you've got a problem with him you'd be better to have a problem now on your knees than after death when you when you're condemned to hell and there's no coming back from it you reject him in this life you you, you will die as you lived and you'll remain there for eternity I don't say that lightly, but that's the truth. Once you know God, you know that's a reality. Once you've received the, the mercy and love and forgiveness of the Lord, you know there's only one, one other possibility. You know that you know Satan's a reality, and then you can start to see all the people that worship Satan openly. Ol Alistair Crowley did. You know, he saw demons, he worshipped demons, changed his name so it added up to 666. He was in secret societies. This is where all this, um, you know, spirit cooking comes from, all this perverse practice, paedophilia and a, a MK Ultra traumatic abuse. It comes from all this religion, this mystery practice, and it goes back generationally. And I needed to convey that. You know again and again so these are areas you need to really research and uh, it's all ever evidence a mapping of the human genome um, I leave the author of the book who, who revealed the truth about all, all modern plant, plant breeders all people who want to learn how to breed plants they all they've all got their knowledge from this one monk who revealed the the early mapping of the the uh, genesis seed, human breeding, plant breeding, and animal breeding. It all come from that knowledge of that one man, right? But they don't want the public world to know that, so they took all that for themselves and they keep that knowledge away from the public and they feed the public lies. So that having the truth, holding the truth, but rejecting the author of the truth gives them power and dominance over the ignorance. And this is where the battleground is for God and the devil, is for souls. Like the Lord's warned, you know, today is the day of salvation. After death, the judgment. Because when you die, you've made your choice by default. If you've rejected Christ, you go to hell because you didn't want to be saved. Christ died to save all men. It's that simple. And God is loving and just, intelligent, and, and he's denied, so therefore the truth's not seen. You're just going to get part truth. So these are all the areas you need to research. Jesuitism, Freemasonry, the CIA. And I've left all the links. And you can look at these videos and listen to these testimonies, these various people and these various areas and I've put an ancient an old book that was written by a Jesuit himself and that's a freely available these things may not be around in a few years time because all the people today uh, the pub even in the independent media it's been it's, it's been corrupted it's been dominated and they're getting all this misinformation and it's got part truth mixed in with error and then people will follow that and that create camps and then people coming up the road won't be able to find where the truth is because there's so many different confusing opinions it's the Jews, it's the Masons, it's the Luminati, it's the Trilateral, it's the uh, Club of Rome no it's all these people utilised in one body of evil because they know human nature they compromise human nature, they sponsor vice, they get the public uh, compromised by this vice, they get them, raise them up in their own image, and then the world hasn't got a leg to stand on because it's compromised itself. That's how Freemasonry works, it compromises, and people are fearful so they toe the line. This is why all the paedophiliac is rats, because all the institutionalised paedophilia is high up, because they like their vice to be 
you know, very perverse. Because they get, you know, rich people get rich vices. You know, they get, they they get the works with the cherry on top. You know, people on the ground who have vice, you know, it costs money for vice. When you got lots of money, you can afford lots of vice. When you own the drug world and dominate the vice rings, you can control the people you get compromised by that vice. That's been testified. That's been proven. MI five know that. Even our own government use that against their own people to blackmail them. They get um, prime ministers compromised and then they use them through the military intelligence because they spy on them, correlate all the dirt. They don't tell the public about it. They just they just twist that person's arm to get them to do what they want them to do. And that's Freemasonry. That's what the black hood is and the rope. The hood's your ignorance and the rope's your compromise. And you roll your you roll your trouser leg up because you're an idiot, and they make a fool of you. So it's all evident out there in the world to see the correlation of science, technology, you know, for good and for evil. And what is what is good and what is for man's good kind is perverted and corrupted, and it's used in evil against mankind. So all good things are going to be any critical mass, any good independent, you know, you think of um, energy, all the independent energy trying to get their free energy off the table. Well, the, the dominant world is going to destroy that and tread on it. It doesn't want it. That's why all conglomerates are trying to own everything and bring it all into one conglomerate powerhouse so the whole world owns the, all, all of it the banks, the money, and then it, and it corrupts people. And the strong man of that is Satan. He's the author of it. And these people at the top openly worship him, believe him to be God, believe him to be the master. But he's a deceiver. He's a liar. He just wants to kill all these people and rob their souls. And he wants to use them, compromise them, and teach them And do what to do to them. He lies to them and deceives them, and he gets them to lie and deceive and raise up people in the deception. And all these people are deceived, and they're and some are passionate and defend it, and then they don't see anything wrong in it, and they're ignorant of what the the core evil of it is. It's Luciferian. It worships it worships it. It denies Jesus Christ openly. It's Antichrist. It's against our freedoms, it's anti-law, it's lawless. They hate the law, they're above, they're a law unto themselves and they're secret and it's unlawful and, it, and, that's, and that's how it uh, yokes the world in it and compromises the world and it uses MK Ultra to brainwash the world through all the medium and all the conglomerate dominance it has, all the people it has compromised ambiguously and, and in the conspiracy. And it's getting more powerful because of people's ignorance. And the world for rejecting Christ is going to be sucked up in the power of it, like all, like magnets, all, tr all, all because of human nature. They know human nature and mob behaviour, so they know how to control and genetically map the whole human race, like they do with a slot swock of follows. They know, like a shoal of fish or a flock of birds, how all nature works together. It all appears that independence, but it all works as one body. And they use lies to manipulate and control nature. Then they're going to implement that into technology, and that technology is going to over-control the human ability to have control and dominance over itself, to have the executive over itself, because the whole world is going to give itself over to this power, to this force, and it's going to be genetically yoked to it. So all that nature that is naturally what they're mapping, they're going to glue it together by a crude method of getting people to accept this chip, which is going to override their free will, and then they're going to be yoked to this beast system. This is the beast. 
This is the uh, Antichrist 666 mark. 666 all ties in with numerology of Luciferianism. And that's where the Antichrist is going to come from, that area. He's going to be practised in all this secret religion and he's going to deceive even the people that are looking out for him and trying to make him appear. By making him appear, what they're doing is hencing forth their own judgment because he's going to be, the Lord's going to allow this Antichrist figure to judge the world and destroy all those people and lead them into chaos and judgment through their own deception because he's going to be completely overtaken by satanic Satan's power. And Satan's going to work through this man to deceive the whole world and lead the whole world into Armageddon. Because he's Satan and that's what he wants to do. And, uh, and, and the Lord's going to allow that because of free agency and choice. Because man rejects God, it hasn't got full control and and it uses its choice, cho choice to believe in Christ, to have power over its nature. So it's, we're, by default, we're slaves to our own nature, our own fallen genetic nature, and these evil people know it, that's why they've mapped it, that's why they can manipulate it, and that's how, how they're going to govern it, by this Antichrist system. This Antichrist system is in power, it's in force. It just hasn't raised its head above the water because they haven't got their temporal leader yet. You know, there's plenty of candidates out there. And all the candidates out there at the moment are building up and preparing the way for the candidate to come, whenever that is. And he will be revealed suddenly. Just like the Church of Jesus Christ, the body of Christ will be removed suddenly in a blink. And then this, this evil corruption and world dominance will raise its head and take up the reins of world domination religious and temporal and it will give the whole world an option you either take the mark or you die because it has come up with lies oh we're sick of all this unlawful injustice we want a peaceful life we want a peaceful society and this is how we're going to do it because that's what they've been planning and they force people to accept their way or the highway. And this is a doctrine of like Islam. This is the doctrine of Roman Catholicism. If you don't surrender, you're a heretic. If you surrender and worship the Pope and bow down to the Pope, because when this Antichrist figure comes, he's going to be the head. And if you don't bow down and worship him, you're, you're, you're not going to be part of it. And it's going to be expected, it's going to be law that you've got to bow down and worship this beast when he, when he rings the bell. And if you want to buy and you want to get on in the world, if you want to get online, if you want to be one of the people permanently, physically, spiritually online through this um, genetic manipulation and connecting your human conscience into a mainframe, a governing mainframe, the beast, and you're going to be subjection to the beast, and you're only going to allow to operate and think within that beast dominance, within its power, within its spell, within its spiritual yoke. You'll be physically yoked and spiritually yoked, and it and it and it'll be by the strong man, the strong evil force that yokes all the nature together. It dominates all fallen nature. And that's what's dominant and that's what the beast system is. It's the correlation and the control and manipulation and control of this nature. And all those people who reject Jesus Christ are not going to have power over the, that nature. And they're going to fall prey to this system. Because it, it, it preys on our fallen genetic inheritance. And it all goes back, it's all been revealed in the word. So... That is my uh, testimony on uh, brief testimony synopsis on MK Ultra for any um, any people who are interested in and in researching this or desiring to sharpen their testimonies. And um, I'll leave the invitation for people to examine the links. Please look at the links in the bottom because they will open up 
the avenues of research and they will clarify this such a vast subject that I've tried to cover in one short video and I just try to outpour it as much as I can out in the key areas that I've learned to open the gate for somebody to find their own way and to look at that evidence and to certify that scientifically and lawfully like lawful witnesses getting two lawful witnesses that can't be overturned by false witnesses because the truth establishes itself it lines up but you need to understand the truth and believe the truth to be able to see what the truth is otherwise you'll get caught out in all the lies because the people who know the truth and hold it are the ones who are trying to destroy it and corrupt it to stop you knowing to stop the general ignorance of the public body and the whole public body is ignorant ignorance just simply means lack of knowledge it doesn't mean you're stupid it just means you don't have the knowledge that they hold it back on so I'm trying to open up the way help anyone re-emphasise re re um hold up the mk ultra testimony because it like i say it's been hijacked and destroyed and i, I don't know where it is at the moment hence why i want to re-emphasize my own mk ultra and um and just like re-evaluate my own i'm still going through deep hurtful discoveries in my own life and it all links to sodomy and ritual ritual abuse through trauma and that's what all these false flag f events are in the world. 9-11, it's all satanic, it's all trauma-based. Grenfell Tower is trauma-based. 7-7 is trauma-based, it's to keep you in fear. So people don't question what the truth is. But the truth will set you free and that truth's in the Lord Jesus Christ, that's in the Creator. That's in the loving, merciful God who's outstretched. So if you want to overcome and escape this without fear, because if you know this this world is sick and it isn't going to make you happy it's not going to bring peace it's a false peace it's an artificially created peace because wars are created to bring about a false peace we don't need wars wars are done away with people aren't prone on warring people on people naturally left to their own devices will get along fine it's when you get human involvement when you get these wicked hierarchies and establishments and orders of men they want to dominate and they want to control they want to lead the charge there is no charge you know you need to stand still stand on your own ground you know live your own life and don't be steered by these liars and these these um jelly molds jelly mold makers they want to shake you into their image and capture you and get you yoked and compromised to their lies and, you, and you're compromised to a lie by believing a lie. And the truth will set you free. The truth can only be revealed. And that, that's the only reason I can boast. And, uh, you know, that I'm free. Because of Jesus Christ, he saved me. And I've received that, that witness, faithful witness. He loves me. And I've received that love. And you can receive that love if you're seeking knowledge and truth. You might not have considered Jesus... But you need, to, you need to approach him by faith and you need to uh, have a change of heart. And the only way to have a change of heart is through him. The only way to enter heaven, which is a free gift, is through what he's done on your behalf, his righteousness. Accepting his righteousness on your behalf, putting away your sinful unrighteousness, accepting his righteousness will give you a free entry into heaven, into the, into the kingdom of uh, his father, of God the Father. And that's the only way you'll ever have peace. That's the only way you ever have life and know the life, the author of life and the truth. And that's in the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'll, I'll close there in his name and, and to serve him and, and, and this offering to him and anyone seeking the truth and edification. And, uh, I wish people all the best and a uh, and Maranatha. Uh, come quickly, Lord Jesus. Amen.